Hinduism is a religion which incorporates diverse views on the concept of God. Different traditions of Hinduism have different theistic views, and these views have been described by scholars as polytheism, monotheism, henotheism, panentheism, pantheism, monism, agnostic, humanism, atheism, or non theism. Monotheism is the belief in a single creator God who is almighty, omnipotent, omniscient, and omnibenevolent. Hinduism does not posit or require such a belief, and is considered a non monotheistic religion by scholars of religion. Many traditions within Hinduism share the Vedic idea of a metaphysical ultimate reality and truth called Brahman instead. According to Jan Gonda, Brahman denoted the power immanent in the sound, words, verses and formulas of Vedas in the earliest Vedic texts. The early Vedic religious understanding of Brahman underwent a series of abstractions in the Hindu scriptures that followed the Vedic scriptures. These scriptures would reveal a vast body of insights into the nature of Brahman as originally revealed in the Vedas. These Hindu traditions that emerged from or identified with the Vedic scriptures and that maintained the notion of a metaphysical ultimate reality would identify that ultimate reality as Brahman. Hindu adherents to these traditions within Hinduism revere Hindu deities and, indeed, all of existence, as aspects of the Brahman. The deities in Hinduism are not considered to be almighty, omnipotent, omniscient and omnibenevolent, and spirituality is considered to be seeking the ultimate truth that is possible by a number of paths. Like other Indian religions, in Hinduism, deities are born, they live and they die in every kalpa eon, cycle of existence. In Hindu philosophy, there are many different schools. Its non-theist traditions such as Samkhya, early Naya, Mimamsa and many within Vedanta such as Advaita do not posit the existence of an almighty, omnipotent, omniscient, omnibenevolent God, monotheistic God while its theistic traditions posit a personal God left to the choice of the Hindu. The major schools of Hindu philosophy explain morality and the nature of existence through the karma and samsara doctrines. As in other Indian religions, contemporary Hinduism can be categorized into four major traditions Vaishnavism, Shaivism, Shaktism, and Smartism. Vaishnavism, Shaivism, and Shaktism worship Vishnu, Shiva, and Devi the Divine Mother as the Supreme, respectively, or consider all Hindu deities as aspects of the formless Supreme Reality or Brahman. Other minor sects such as Gunapitya and Sora focus on Ganesha and Surya as the supreme. A sub-tradition within the Vaishnavism school of Hinduism that is an exception is dualistic Dvaita, founded by Madhvacharya in the 13th century where Vishnu as Krishna is a monotheistic god. This tradition posits a concept of monotheistic God so similar to Christianity that Christian missionaries in colonial India suggested that Madhvacharya was likely influenced by early Christians who migrated to India, a theory that has been discredited by scholars. <inaudible> <inaudible> Vedic ideas According to Rigveda 1.164.46, Transal, Klaus Klostermeyer, Indram Mitram Varunamagnimaharatho Divya Sa Suparno Garutman Ekam Sad Vipra Bahuda Vedantyanam Yamam Matarasvanamaha. They call him Indra, Mitra, Varuna, Agni, and he is heavenly nobly winged Garutman. To what is one, sages give many a title. They call it Agni, Yama, Matarasvan. Vaishnavism <inaudible> <inaudible> Krishnaism is a sub-tradition of Vaishnavism wherein Krishna is considered Svayam Bhagavan, meaning Lord himself and it is used exclusively to designate Krishna as the Supreme Lord. Krishna is considered as an avatar manifestation of Vishnu himself or to be the same as Narayana. Krishna is recognized to be Svayam Bhagavan in the belief of Gaudiya Vaishnavism and Dvaita sub school of Hindu philosophy, the Vallabha Sampradaya. In the Nimbarka Sampradaya, where Krishna is accepted to be the source of all other avatars, and the source of Vishnu himself, the theological interpretation of Svayam Bhagavan differs with each tradition and the translated from the Sanskrit language, the term literary means, Bhagavan himself, or directly Bhagavan. 
Gaudiya Vaishnava tradition often translates it within its perspective as primeval lord or original personality of Godhead, but also considers the terms such as supreme personality of Godhead and supreme God as an equivalent to the term Svayam Bhagavan, and may also choose to apply these terms to Vishnu, Narayana, and many of their associated avatars. Gaudiya Vaishnavas and followers of the Vallabha Sampradaya Nimbarka Sampradaya use the Gopala Tapani Upanishad, and the Bhagavata Purana, to support their view that Krishna is indeed the Svayam Bhagavan. This belief was summarized by the 16th century author Jiva Goswami in some of his works, such as Krishna Sandarbha. In other sub traditions of Vaishnavism, Krishna is one of many aspects and avatars of Vishnu, Rama is another, for example, recognized and understood from an eclectic assortment of perspectives and viewpoints. Vaishnavism is one of the earliest single god focused traditions that derives its heritage from the Vedas. Within Hinduism, Krishna is worshipped from a variety of perspectives, a different Vaishnavism viewpoint, such as those in Sri Vaishnavism, opposing this theological concept as the concept of Krishna as one of the many avatar of Narayana or Vishnu. The Sri Vaishnavism sub-tradition reveres goddess Lakshmi with god Vishnu as equivalent, and traces it roots its roots to the ancient Vedas and Pankaratra texts in Sanskrit. See also Arya Samaj Hindu views on God and gender Hiranyagarbha Sukta Nasadiya Sukta Prajapati Svayam Bhagavan References Bibliography Jones, Constance, Ryan, James D. 2006, Encyclopedia of Hinduism, Infobase Sharma, B. N. Krishnamurti Philosophy of Srimadvakarya. Mudalal Banarsidas ISBN 978-8120800687. Sharma, B. N. Krishnamurti A History of the Dvaita School of Vedanta and Its Literature, 3rd edition. Mudalal Banarsidas 2008 reprint. ISBN 978-8120815759. Sharma, Chandradar A Critical Survey of Indian Philosophy. Mudalal Banarsidas. ISBN 81-208-0365-5. Sarma, Deepak 2000. Is Jesus a Hindu? S. C. Vasu and Multiple Madhva Misrepresentations. Journal of Hindu Christian Studies, 13. doi, 10.7825, 2164-6025-0. Sarma, Deepak 2005. Epistemologies and the Limitations of Philosophical Enquiry, Doctrine in Madhva Vedanta. Routledge. Gupta, Ravi M. 2007. Ketanya Vaisnava Vedanta of Jiva Gosvami's Katarsutri Tika. Routledge. ISBN 0 415 40548 3. Flood, G. D. 2006. The Tantric Body The Secret Tradition of Hindu Religion. Ib Tories. ISBN 1 84511 012 9. Delmonico, N. 2004. The History of Indic Monotheism and Modern Chaitanya Vaishnavism. The Hare Krishna Movement The Pocharismatic Fate of a Religious Transplant. Columbia University Press. ISBN 978-0-231-12256-6. Retrieved 12 April 2008. D. Hudson Vasudeva Krsna in Theology and Architecture, a Background to Srivaisnavism. Journal of Vaisnava Studies 2. Matchett, Frida Krsna, Lord or Avatara, the relationship between Krsna and Visnu, in the context of the Avatara myth as presented by the Harivamsa, the Visnupurana and the Bhagavata Purana. Surrey, Routledge. p. 254. ISBN 0-7007-1281-X.